Thank you so much for joining us today, Vic. Now, you've created countless amount of artworks and you've used many, many different materials, but then you take photographs of them. How did this process come about? I think the whole thing is about process because, uh, you know, dealing with materials, different materials, such as uh, garbage, sugar, uh, toys, it just sets you in, in different processes, you know. You, you, you have to take a different path to get to what you want. Uh, choosing strange materials is just basically a good excuse to work differently. Uh, and it's been 30 years. I thought, you know, when I started this with photography, I, I started out as a sculptor. Uh, and the moment I, I, was, I had my, photo, my, my works documented, I became completely involved with the idea of, like, how does that fare as a picture? Um, I, I thought this was going to be just a tryout, just photograph myself the things I, mm -hmm. I was making. Then I started making things just for the fact of, just to be photographed. And this, I'm on the, my third decade now, just uh, taking pictures of it. Wow. I think when you take a picture of something, you remove it a little bit from its actual stage. So you, you, when you look at a picture of something, you know, somebody made, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you start wondering about how it was made how long did it take? How yeah. uh, large was originally? I so think, what, what do you do with the artworks once you photograph them? Well, a lot of it was, uh, you know, when I was working with food, for instance, you know, like, uh, or garbage, you don't mm -hmm. keep that stuff, yeah. you know. And the idea of taking a picture of it uh, uh, actually justifies the photographing act. Uh, but uh, then I started working with paper, things that are somehow more durable. Uh, I keep these copies. I don't throw them away. Normally, I work with uh, institutions like museums. If they buy a large work for the collection, generally, I give the, what I call the, the matrix, you know, that, mm -hmm. which is part of the process. And I, uh, as long as they don't show it as an actual artwork, you know, oh. the artwork are the photographs. Okay. So um, you encourage people to think of photographs as a process, not a product. What does that mean? Well, uh, I, I am a, <clears throat> sorry, um, I am a, what you could call a wall artist, you know. Mm -hmm. My works, they have a specific scale and they require physical presence, you know. You have to go to a museum or to a gallery to be able to see it, which is, uh, it's a different flux than the way we experience images on a daily basis. And you're not just being passively there and being bombarded by images. Mm -hmm. uh, museums and galleries, they sort of ritualize visual experience. So you get to have a choice. You, know, you go towards an image and as you move towards an image, it changes and it becomes different things at different distances. Uh, I think in, in, a, in a time where we are constantly uh, being subjected to the experience of the images, you know, uh, and not, to encourage, not encouraged to really think about it, mm -hmm. the moment you, are, uh, you set yourself in this motion towards an image, you also <clears throat> you have control of the situation. You have a, a, a critical uh, a stance on what you're, you're looking at. I think it's a very healthy thing. Uh, I make images uh, so you not only uh, get to see an image, they're attractive, uh, but, but they also you have a chance to meditate and to think about uh, not Different only what emotions. images, yeah, what, what they, how they work, the, mechan the mechanics of how images are apprehended and what do they do to you? Okay, so let's talk a bit about your exhibition that's here in Istanbul. Tell me a bit about that. <clears throat> well, it's uh, my first uh, exhibition in Istanbul. It's, a, it's an amazing city and I'm, I'm very, very uh, proud and, and glad to be able to show my work for a different public. Uh, we, it's, a, it's, a, it's happening in a, in a gallery and we had to you know, edit very carefully the work that's there. So we had a little bit of a, a, a curated choice from a recent series that I've been working at, and we wanted to put together a, a group of works that really made sense uh, for a new public. Okay, so is there any upcoming projects that we should look out for? Oh, there's so many. <laughs> uh, Pick I, one. I, one I, I work with like one, two, three, five different series simultaneously. Uh, one, of, one thing that I do, uh, I make perfect copies of the back mm -hmm. of the world's most, most famous paintings, like the Mona Lisa, Starry Night. Uh, I just did the uh, uh, Anatomy Lesson by Rembrandt. I'm working on now uh, The Kiss by Klimt. Oh. And I'm having an, uh, my upcoming exhibition, museum exhibition, is in the Belvedere in Austria, in Vienna, uh, actually showing these new works. 
uh, and I, I have, a, I, it's... Many, many projects. It's, it's been good, you know, it has been very, it's been very busy. Yeah. Well, we're very happy to have you in Istanbul and very honored to have you on our show today. Thank you so much. Vic. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here.